My name is Doug Barrett and I teach graphic design at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. It's pretty simple. Um, you can buy these like flattened like mask forms like in a local craft store. I mean you could just use a piece of um, a piece of really nice heavy construction paper or a paper plate and just some really simple items that you need. There are foam, brushes, um, a regular brush, scissors, water, um, you know, like little stick-on sparkly things, um, paint, glue, and tape. Today I, I thought we would do this cool um, little horse mask. It's kind of a fun kind of freaky face. I, I'm just using straight paint. I'm not going to water it down at all. You can see I'm just dabbing the foam brush and mixing the two different colors. And I'm just going to pull the brush through it a couple times. Right, because I'm just trying to get that really nice kind of split fountain effect. And I'm basically just going to dab around. The same thing that I did for the center of the face of the horse, I'm just going to dab around the ear too. Then to kind of do a slightly darker color around the outside. It kind of gives the face of the animal a lot more dimension. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put some pink kind of in the ears. And I might put like a dab of pink on the nose. Don't, don't really sweat the details. And then in ours, the eyes are already kind of cut out for us, right? So I can just pop those eyes out. But you want it to feel like it's handmade. You don't want it to feel like it's store-bought. I pinch the ears together and tape those to them. Yeah, you know. Make sure it grabs. And I'm gonna push the other metal one through there. He did the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash. He did the man. It caught on in a flash. He did the man. He did the monster man. From my laboratory.